Here are the seven things that you should be focusing on right now. Right now. Right now. The following program is rated TV M-A-N-O-C. It contains a big pair of nuts directly on your chin. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swolio, back with some mo sack for yo chin, mo nuts on yo chin. I know you're back for that sack, but if you're brand new, consider subscribing because I'm gonna be dropping so much content right here for all of you. I know you got time to watch, be safe, be smart, stay vigilant, and of course, keep on coming back for some more bearded action. Look at this, look at this guy. Oh my God, looking good, letting it all fly. Let me all hang out, it's getting fucking hot in here. Anyway, I hope you're doing well, but these are the seven things that I want you to focus on as you should be focusing on all the time, even two months ago and even two months from now. If you don't know, you will know shortly, but I want to remind you all that if you want to get started, if your gym is closed, if your yoga studio is closed, check out swolenormousx.com. The link is down below so you can get access to the Swole at Home special. We got tons of access for the community. We got tons of access for yoga, as well as three month and annual specials. So you can get started with no setup fees. This is the time and the place to be inside Swolenormous X. What's interesting is that there's so many things that are changing in everyone else's world, but inside Swolenormous X, inside the Swole fam, it's like business as usual. This is why we're doing what we're doing. This is why we always do what we do, because we want to not be vulnerable to anything with our health. We want to take our health into our own hands, which is what I wanna help you do right now. So let's get into the seven things that you should be focusing on for your health right now that you can start doing today if you haven't already. Number one is your community, your surroundings, who you are surrounding yourself with. Now, of course, we need social distancing, but what kind of information are you taking in? Are you listening to a lot of media? Are you listening to the sensationalized aspects of coronavirus? Are you stressing out about every single headline or every single, I don't wanna say exaggeration because it's a very serious situation, but you also need to be filling yourself up with hope and inspiration and also mitigating that stress. So community, who you are surrounding yourself with and what information you're taking in, what kind of environment are you putting yourself in? Are you walking? Are you going outside getting some sun? Are you getting in some fresh air? Are you just staying in your room? Are you surrounding yourself with people that are really negative? What and who are you surrounding yourself with is so important, your community, your environment, focus on that. Number two is nutrition. Are you fucking your face with sugar? Are you fucking your face with garbage carbohydrates? Are you taking in way too many calories, watching Netflix all night long, so you're just pounding and pounding yourself with all this just anxiety fuel and then not utilizing it at all. I mean, you're gonna gain weight if you're eating too many calories and if you're eating shit food, it's not good for your health. You gotta stay healthy, eat better still eat the same way, nothing fucking changes. Unless you can't literally get the same food that you're getting before, you make the next best choice. But you still have to pay attention to nutrition. This isn't a vacation, this isn't a snow day, this is a serious situation and you still need to give yourself the right fuel so you can stay healthy. Just makes sense. You would think it makes sense. Number three, training. There's a lot of stuff you can do. You can train at home. You can go for a walk and get some sun, breathe some fresh air. You can do push-ups. you can do pull-ups, you can do squats, lunges, you can use dumbbells, you can use bands, you can use a kettlebell. You can still buy some of this stuff right now. Go to a store and purchase something. Go online and order. You can still get access to weight training equipment. But a lot of things are gonna slow down in terms of shipments and the priorities like medical supplies and food are gonna take priority and they're gonna stop prioritizing shipments for non-essential items. Get your training stuff now. Go on Amazon, get your training gear now, fam. I'm telling you, you don't wanna put your exercise in the hands of a gym, in the hands of whatever might happen. So give yourself the ability to train anywhere. Don't have a lot of space, get some bands, get a door attachment, you'll be fine. You'll be fine, you'll make the gains back, we'll be fine. Number four is recovery, sleep. We'll talk about yoga and meditation shortly, but sleep, recover, rest. You know, one of the good things about this situation, one of the very, very few, is that a lot of people are gonna get some actual rest. People are gonna start getting some actual sleep, allowing their muscles to actually recover. There's so many people that are just crushing, 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 crushing their bodies and not allowing any time to recover. It's always the Super Bowl every fucking day. So this is gonna give people a great opportunity to focus on sleep, repair, foam rolling, stretching, recovery, and also number five, mobility. Yoga, now you get to practice yoga. For everyone that's been turning their nose up at yoga this whole time, one, you need very little room. Two, 
you need zero equipment. If you don't have a yoga mat, that's cool. You can order one. If you don't get it in in time or they're not shipping yoga mats, it's fine. You could just use the floor. Put a towel down, put a pillow down for your knees when you need to. You can practice yoga anywhere. You can look up free videos on YouTube. You could join Swanormous X for the entire yoga studio. There's a lot of information out there that's free as well. Like you can access it. And yoga is so amazing for your mind and body. Don't miss it. Number six, speaking of mind, is mindfulness, meditation. Talk about needing zero fucking equipment. All you gotta do is sit there, nice and calm, breathe in and out through your nose and focus on the breath. Done, you're meditating. It's the art of doing nothing. It's the art of being still. It's the art of focus. It's the art of a lot of things and it's the art of no things. Meditation, mindfulness is awesome. There's tons of free apps for guided meditations. You can also check out Solnormous X. We have the entire brain gain section with my personally led guided meditation. So you have this kind of stuff at your fingertips, but if you're not doing it, you're not mitigating the stress. You're not decreasing cortisol levels. You're not improving your ability to not just metabolize fat, but also deal with all this existential anxiety. We have a lot of stuff that we're worried about, family, friends, finances. There's a lot of stuff that people are concerned about. Mindfulness, meditation is absolutely, not even just key, it's fucking essential. And number seven is consistency. Everything I just listed, it's only good if you're consistent with it. It's only good if you're doing it day in and day out. And everything I mentioned, you can do at home. You don't need any equipment. Now, of course, for the food, it's whatever you have access to. Don't just write things off because you don't have access to the gym. Oh, I can't do anything. The gym's closed. Fuck it. Or, oh, I don't have access to the same food I normally do. Ah, fuck it. I'm just going to eat whatever. People are so ready to punch out, but consistency is what gets people results. This might be a temporary setback for a couple months. Hopefully, you know, it's not as severe as the potential for it to be, but we have to adapt. We have to be resilient. And that's what we're gonna learn from this, is how to be resilient and how to decrease our personal vulnerability to these situations. So consistency is key, do the best you can. Now, every single thing I just mentioned is a pillar in the seven pillars of Solnormous. If you wanna download your free copy, head on over to solnormousx.com. There's a banner at the top and you can download your seven pillars free. Also, over at swanormousx.com, we got the Swole at Home special where you can get access with no setup fee, the special access to Swanormous X. You can access all the programs that can be done at home, the workout archive, the instructional video library, the Swollen 7 mobility series, as well as the brand new core strength kettlebell and band series coming out. You also have access to the hundreds of yoga classes, meditation sessions, virtual trainings, master classes. We have so much stuff inside Swanormous X and I am turning up the heat with pumping out content. We release new stuff every single week. So join the fam. Even if it's just for the community, you can join for less than three bucks and you get access to the private group as well as Swole TV. So you get access to all the bonus contents and the weekly accountability meeting. It's a great thing. It's a great time to join. And if you're able to join, I highly recommend it even for the Swole Fam membership because number one, the first pillar is community. It's who you're surrounding yourself with. And in this situation, that is going to get worse before it gets better. That's just the way it is. We have to stick together and we have to be consistent. So this is a very positive message. You have things that you can do. You're not a victim. You're not a victim. You're not stuck. You're only stuck if you allow yourself to get stuck. So unstuck and unfuck yourself and let's get after it, fam. So check out SwoleNormousX.com for the seven pillars and for the Swole at Home special. And I'll see you real soon for some more sack on your chin. You like that sack? You like that sack? Maybe I'll trim my beard a little bit. You like that sack, don't ya? Don't ya? Don't ya? Don't ya? Hey, all of y'all talking, but I just went. Papa Swole open nuts on their chin. Like Everson K2 get mounds of cash. Looked in the crowd, saw my name on the ass. You made them bands, now your money is spent. I stash away about 40%. Empire with honey, like I'm Gary V. My Benny's are blue, but the product is yeah. gray. I'm dropping slappers to hell with an album. Might fuck around and go see Jimmy Fallon. I multiply while you bury.